My nose is getting really porous. So my head shape is extra triangle. You look really pale, your nose is super porous, and your head shape is really triangle. What else? Hey, hey guys! guys! Ooh, I do love a day where we're trying out new makeup. So today, we wanted to try out a new brand at Sephora. We originally wanted to try it out then they contacted us and we're like, hey, you wanna try out our makeup? And we were like, okay, I mean, we were gonna get it anyways and try it out because we were interested. So it's pretty vulgar. Not that's the brand. <laughs> so it's pretty vulgar. Yeah. So if you guys enjoy seeing us new try makeup. out new makeup, give this video a thumbs up and we'll do some more because I think it's one of my favorites. Yeah, I think it's cool. And we're gonna give you our first impression on all of these products. And we've already got foundation and concealer on because- Fun fact, they do have a foundation. I think it's a mousse foundation and they also have a concealer which I was interested in. We didn't get it in time for the video and they didn't include it in the PR package. So we're gonna try everything else. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any videos and hit the notification bell. Yeah, I'm feeling super like I have no lips and I'm super I pale. Know. We gotta fix that. All right, let's jump into... <laughs> let's jump into it. First things first. Look what they sent it in. Is that not so stinking cute? It looks cute. like a jewelry fancy cute little box. So, so. Dang cute. So if you see us reaching forward, we're pulling out this little drawer. So. Yeah. yeah. This is an eyebrow pencil and it's 114 classy broad. And then there's 116 eloquently educated. But it doesn't say like blonde or brunette or whatever. Maybe I'll try the eyebrow gel. I'm gonna try this. Okay, I'm gonna I use this. This looks kind of dark. Handy dandy eyebrow brush. I'm comparing it to some of my go-tos, like my L'Oreal. Looks like it might be a smidge warmer, but it's, it's, not not, bad. it's not like too dark really. First main thing that I've heard just through the grapevine about this brand is just that the packaging is not as, I guess, heavyweight as some would be in Sephora, but that doesn't mean that the products won't be bomb. I mean, dang cute packaging. Okay, yeah. here we go. First off, this eyebrow gel pomade feels pretty creamy. And the color, color looks good. Color, and this is in the color 38. Eight. Vantage point. I don't ever use these large angle sticks because they're just, just not what I go for. We're gonna go for it. I don't know how to do it. Do you know how to do it? No, I end up using the tip of it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Their eyebrow brush is a little bit thick for my eyebrows. I got dainty little brows. You used to use the Smashbox one like this though, didn't you? So I used it in a pinch whenever whenever they weren't carrying my Anastasia. After buying it a couple times, I realized how much more control I had over the smaller ones and that kind of got that like angled thing out of my bug, out of my bug? <laughs> bug out of my system. Did you say out of your butt? <laughs> out of my bug, that angled out of my bug. <laughs> I just Anyways. got it out of my butt. I'm having a hard time with my tail, but that's not, like the tail of my eyebrow, but that's not unusual. Butt and tail. That's not unusual when I use a pomade. I have a hard time. You know, one might even argue that with the lighter packaging, maybe it's more environmentally friendly because it'll break down faster. It could be something. a thing. Right now this eyebrow stuff is very comparable to Benefit. Benefit. I'm very not much so Benefit. mad at this, but like you said, I just really do enjoy the control I feel like I have over the skinny ones. Yeah. And I feel like I'm less prone to make a mistake. It's just not my favorite. Okay, is this eyeshadow this is, primer? This is primer right here. Uncaged. Let's lip balm. Pretty vulgar, uncaged. It's so pretty. This is 44. I don't know if there's a color other than it being called uncaged. The other one's had colors. It's a squeezy tube. If we wanted to use our paint pot and then use this, would you do paint pot then this? No, I do this then paint pot. Really? Because I feel like this is like a tacky thing and then the paint pot would stick to it, but the paint pot would give us a color base. Although I'm not, I'm not entirely mad at this yet. It feels a little sticky. But that one covered more than most. Yeah, we have so many eyeshadow palettes to play with. How many? Three. We're gonna have to make good choices. There's one down here. We have, it's really cute, you guys. They're bird related. Early bird. Pretty birdie. And Nightingale. Nightingale is very much like a dark night looking like palette. Smoky eye. Oh, yeah. wow. Ooh. Pretty bird is pretty. So vibrant and beautiful. I bet early bird's gonna be warm like the sunrise. I don't know. I'm just a guess. Probably not though. It's just like a nice, purpley neutral. It's like purpley and browns. This one's more brown with a little hint of grays, kind of, I feel like. And that one's brightly colored. Yeah, this is like all your fun, funky colors. And the good thing about these is I feel like there's enough eyeshadow in each one of mattes and shimmers to get a full look. This one described it as matte and pearl, pearl. on the box. I call them shimmer. They're not glitter. But I don't know if they're all, yeah, they all say matte and pearl. I'm gonna put rise all over my lid, like a nude color. Okay, I'm gonna use the same rise color. It's just like basically making this primer into kind of a paint pot. Okay, I'm gonna do Nightingale. 
I guess I'm gonna put this unruffled in my crease. Kind of transition, but also I don't really have a transition in this palette. Okay, this unruffled light lilac. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just take clutch right now. It's this like kind of shimmery color and I'm gonna put it in my lid and see what he is after I dig my nail in one of them. Okay, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen. It's kind of like, it's almost like not much of a shadow and it has just like a glitter kind of overspray. Okay, that's something I want. I'm having a hard time finding a good like mid-tone. I'm going back to Pretty Birdie and I'm gonna take Ego and I'm gonna put it on my lid. Yeah, I'm just putting this like piling it on. I'm gonna put Conquer in my crease. And I think I'm gonna end up putting that unveil color, unveil. <laughs> it definitely said veal. I wanna put this purple like in the middle of my lid though. We're just gonna try that. This might be hot mess territory. It's so pretty though. It's called True Colors. Okay, I'm gonna take Songbird, which is that dark brown over here, and kind of do like outer cornery. Oh, True Colors. The swatch is pretty, but it's like that glittery overlay thing where like it disappears. That's it what clutch is like. Maybe if I had something more tacky for it to go to or like a white base, it would. I'm going back to conquer in my crease. I'm gonna conquer my crease. I don't think this is gonna show up either. That's not good. No. Like, it's locking it down, but I'm not gonna wanna move it around. Fail. I'm yeah. not gonna be able to take photos like this. All right, let's 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 try a matte. Let's try this unveil. Unveil. Why do you keep calling it that? Unveil. unveil. All right, this is a matte one, so the other matte one that I used was good. Right now, the shimmers just are not working. Okay, I'm taking lay, lay and put it, I'm trying to like tone some of this down. I'm gonna end up with more mattes than anything because that's the only ones that are coming off. If I did a fun underneath color, what color should I do? Brilliant. Okay, we're using a purple brilliant color. I'm gonna take Chirp and put it on my lid. It's like this really pretty iridescent peachy. Oh my God, y'all, it's not working on my lid. Nothing is showing up. I'm gonna try the shine color on my lid. I don't know what it is. It is just not sticking to my lid. I'm gonna take Songbird, this like dark brown color, and just kind of like see if I can't just give a little bit more like. I'm gonna put Ruffled in my inner corner. It's like iridescent, bright, purpley, lilac-y, but it's probably gonna roll right off my inner corner. I think one problem is the grains. It's not finely enough milled, and I feel like it's not wanting to blend in. Well, it's like some of them, it's more of like a glitter almost. Yeah, it's, it's not like a iridescent-iness. It's kind of like if you were to go into the Urban Decay naked palettes and get the most granulated like sparkly looking ones and how those apply. But it's just not super, super showing up. Well, it's like I swatched them in my hand and they swatched really prettily. So I just, I wanna do it without the- I wanna do it with my own base yeah, with on my paint eyes. pot, not the- Not their primer. I'm gonna use Unveil. She got it. Under my lash line. It is not going for this level of eye makeup today. Very lightly. I, you know, I haven't done eyeliner in my uh, waterline in forever. I'm gonna use a wink as my eyebrow. Eyebrow bone, what? I don't know. Oh no! Where did that red come from? Fun fact, I was just opening this eyeliner and I noticed it's a twist up, but also it has a sharpener built into the cap so you can keep the tip nice and pointy. They have a bronzer or a contour shade, but they didn't send it to us. They sent us blush and highlights. So we're gonna do those. I really like this eyeliner. Yeah, it was real creamy, easy to Ooh. apply. I just, I tight lined and water lined and it's in, I think it's called Yours Truly. I mean, I'm not mad at the eyeshadow look. I just, that's the thing. Like I I'm looking like at it control over the shadows and right. I, I think that's just the and I think that the hardest ones to apply were the shimmer ones because a lot of mine are matte okay this is mirror mirror make them blush holy pink not as pigmented as I thought like I mean you can build it it definitely has a sheen doesn't it I don't know because I got glitter on my face from like earlier I feel like there's some gold in it okay this is a highlight in shimmering swan I just realized this is gold like encrusted and that's silver encrusted Actually, I think it's a, the swan is called, I mean swan. The highlight is called Shimmering Swan, but the color is Glimmers of BS. Oh, that's how this one's like, make them blush, is it? And then it's, the color is Mirror Mirror. Nice. Oh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> no Glimmers of BS here. Definitely showing up. Oops, I think I put too much. Oops, she did it again. Oh no. Yep, oh, definitely no. put too much. Sydney always puts too much highlight. What? It's not bad. I'm not mad at it. Mm -mm. I mean, eh. obviously if I put too much on, that means it's pretty pigmented. Yeah. I don't know how much it like shows, but mascara. Should we go mascara? Mascara! 
This is one of the first things that attracted me to this brand, and I saw it on the new page of Sephora. Yes, that's true. You I remember guys. you showing me. She was like, look at this new mascara. It's beautiful. And I didn't realize it was a new brand, and then this packaging is like, looks like a little potion or something. And it's called the Feathers in the color The Raven. I'm real excited. I'm not usually a fan of Curve. Usually I do the flipsy doodle and do it like that. Like on the, I think it was a Maybelline mascara that was like that. I feel like I need to like scoop off some of the product. <laughs> but I also feel like the formula is not super wet. Uh-uh. Um, hello lashes. I'm not mad at it. I don't love the shape of the brush. I'll say like I'm able to work with it without it getting like clumpy or drying too quickly. And yeah. It's one of the better, I'm not a big high-end mascara connoisseur, but it's definitely one of the better ones that I've tried in a while. Yeah, whenever I can like work with a mascara and get my lashes how I like without having to worry about like. This one might be going in my makeup bag. Hey, <laughs> your lashes look good. Dang. Not mad at it. Mm -mm. We have lots of lip products. They have they have some matte lippies, and then we also have some liquid liquid lipsticks. But I think they're like metallic-y. I'm not sure. Packaging so pretty. And then poisonous pout, which is a plumping lip gloss. I want. I want. Does it have color or is it? Um, they do have colors, but I don't. I don't know that do they they're have a clear? pigmented. I don't think their liquid lipstick is matte. The packaging of this liquid lipstick is so beautiful. Like the tip is like rubberized feeling, but I wish that they had some not metallic ones. I'm just gonna try this and see like how quickly it started pouting. Like, I mean, plumping. This is in secret weapon. I'm gonna try a crazy one. I already feel it. Oh, maybe it's getting there. If you don't like sticky lip glosses, this is not for you. It's not like painful. It's not like Too Faced lip injection. I definitely feel it. Sometimes I like to apply something plumping and then take it off and put a lip color on. What color is that? <laughs> it's metallic. I'm just gonna try it just for giggles. Okay, this is in the color Artful Deception. I don't know that I've ever done metallic lips. Oh my gosh, it has a weird consistency. It's like thick and greasy. Is it lip gloss or is it liquid eyeshadow? It's liquid lipstick. Okay. <laughs> Valid question. <laughs> Whoa. It's kind of really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try this matte lipstick in the color Prim and Proper. And they're really pretty. They've got like a little birdie embossed on them. This is lighter than I would normally go for, but not so light that it looks like dead or... Mine's completely what I would go for. I wish it had set though. I like the way these feel, but I would almost call them a satin. Maybe, maybe not quite matte. Yeah. But it's actually, it's also more of just like a non-drying matte. Like it's really comfortable. Yeah. I don't know. I really like it. Overdraw just a little bit or a lot. All right. That is everything that we tried from them. We had a couple more things like nail polish and some gel liner, but that was most of everything that we got. Yeah. I think I like everything save the eye primer because that's just yeah. not my favorite kind of thing. Yeah. But like I said, all the eyeshadows swatched really pretty that I swatched and that's I what just... I'll say like the eyeshadows they feel and swatch pretty yeah I don't know if it's user error for us or not I think it's the eyeshadow primer I, it's just it's just not something I normally work with so I, I claim that's where I ran into issues yeah I'm not a huge fan of the eyebrow products but again that's because that's not a, the type of eyebrow products that we would typically go for if it had been a pencil and not the like wedge shape it would have been fine I yeah think, so yeah which were just stuck in our little box. Mascara was good. I think Steph was a little bit more excited about the mascara than me. Like, and I'm, it kept my lashes soft, like touch yeah, the lashes. Yeah, they, like oh they're not gosh. super crunchy. And they also still have a feather, they have a feathery look, Yeah. but still voluminous yeah. Like and lengthening. I feel like it just did a lot of good things. I love the blush. Yeah. The highlight, that I mean, pretty. it's a pretty highlight. I don't, it's not like, Okay, Steph likes super all. crazy highlights. I think it's well, a good highlight. There's nothing wrong with it, there's yeah. nothing wrong, it's a good one. I, I mean, I don't, it's not amazingly unique, I guess, but I like it and I think it's a pretty one and I really like this lip color and I want to put it in my makeup bag. Oh, let's set our set our makeup. Oh, can't really it. can't really speak to this, but you it's guys. It's really pretty. Can we just talk about the setting spray? There's something I read and I'm not sure where I saw it, but it talks about how the product should look pretty on your vanity. And I think that if you're, you know, wanting your makeup to look really pretty set out on your vanity, I think this is a really like yeah. this line accomplishes that. It's not it's not real. Like, yeah. I off. wish. Let's just give it a go. Droplity? A little droplity? Yeah, like not super fine. It doesn't smell like anything. No, it doesn't. I don't know. It's so funny. People talk about makeup setting sprays and how they'll give their skin a healthy glow and this and that. I don't notice those things. 
I don't know if I'm just crazy, but I do feel like it can make my matte makeup last longer. Like yeah. it kind of melts it in together. I never use one. Yeah. Tell us down below if you've tried any of these products and uh, fun fact, you want to try out. I we're to try. vlogging. And if you didn't know that, we have youtube.com slash TNS where we're vlogging and we are going to be going to Atlanta for market. That's fine. If you want to see behind the scenes stuff of what we do for buying stuff for our store, Madison and Mallory, it's a fun way to find out. Yeah. And we also are vlogging other things, not just the store stuff, no. but that's something you'll get to see in the vlog channel. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Don't forget to give us your thumbs up and subscribe. And we are going to talk to you guys in another video and on TNS. Hope so. We sure will. Bye guys. Bye guys. If you want to see more videos where we're trying new makeup products for the first time, you can click the video on the right. And if you missed our previous video, you can click that video on the left. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click that circle channel icon and it'll sub you right up.